Watch WWE Presents. As Vince McMahon would put it himself, the WWE is final. It's the long-term goal. It's where you want to end up. And well, for the most part, he's right. Not everyone thinks this way, but these five people possibly should have. I'm D. Wicked from Watch WWE, and these are the five wrestlers who shouldn't have left the WWE. Number five, Randy Savage. Allow me to correct myself for this one alone. WWF. As back in 1994, Randy Savage decided to head off to WCW. A lot of controversy surrounds his leaving the WWF. Many people believe he slept with Stephanie McMahon. Enjoy that haunting image. And Vince wanted him out for that. However, on his last WWF appearance, McMahon, who at the time was a commentator, spoke very kindly of the Macho Man. So... You know, question mark. Randy Savage was the only big WWF name to head to WCW and never return, and wouldn't get himself mentioned again until after his death. Number 4. Chris Jericho Let's make one thing clear. Chris Jericho is one of the greatest professional wrestlers of all time. He is not one of the greatest heavy metal band leaders of all time. Okay, I've never personally listened to Foz. I'm sure it's fine, and yeah, Jericho probably enjoys it. However, I guarantee you he's better in the ring than on the stage. And his current WWE run is proving that as he's doing some of the best work of his career before our eyes. Number 3, Brock Lesnar. Oh, Brock, why do you have to go and fuck with WrestleMania 20? Well, luckily you and Goldberg's train wreck match wasn't enough to bring that mania down, but it didn't help you much. Now, let me make myself clear. Brock's UFC stuff is fine. He's genetically freakier than Scott Steiner and could probably punch the skin off of me, and that's great. However, what wasn't great was what Brock actually left the WWE in 2004 for. Professional football. Brock went to play for the Minnesota Vikings, and it didn't go well for the country boy. Yes, his UFC stuff was fine, becoming a champion and all that, etc. Blah, blah, blah. But his time at the NFL, blah. Number 2, Stone Cold Steve Austin. When the rattlesnake himself admits it was a huge mistake to walk out, you know it was a huge mistake to walk out. Back in 2003, Stone Cold was transitioning down from being the top guy and was starting to put over the younger talent. One of these guys would be the aforementioned Brock Lobster, mayor of Seafood City. Austin had no problem putting Lesnar over, however there was no build up and Vince was giving it away on live TV and not a pay per view, and Austin wouldn't have it. No showing the event and leaving the WWE temporarily. He came back later that year and apologized massively as he knew it was the wrong decision. Honorable mentions, yes they're back, I'm gonna try and start doing them, kinda maybe, not sure yet. But honorable mention goes out to Bret Hart for the sole reason that him leaving to WCW led to him being mule kicked right the fuck into retirement. And number one, CM Punk. In September 2016, who else could it have possibly been? We already talked about a man who went from WWE to UFC who achieved success. That This wasn't the case for Philip Brooks though. CM Punk walked out on the WWE in early 2014 and spent about two years training for the UFC. Just a few weeks ago, he lost in his debut in just about two minutes after landing precisely zero offensive moves on his opponent. Sure, he's doing what he loves and it's debatable that he wouldn't have enjoyed his time in the WWE had he stayed, but hey, fuck you, winky face. And those are the five wrestlers who should have just stayed with Vinnie Mac in his giant fun playhouse of big sweaty dudes. What are your thoughts? Tell us in the comments below, and if you like what you saw, check out our other work over at Space Found Watch Sports and my personal channel, D Wicked. We'll do stuff in the future, don't worry my friends, just, you know, stay calm. Keep yourself updated by following us on Twitter at YTWatchWWE, and of course, if you like the video, like the video, because common sense, and subscribe for more abandoned wrestling content. Thank you all for watching.